Hi, I'm Benita. In this presentation, I'll show you how to specify the size and utilization of a floor plan. In order to create a floor plan, select Floor Plan, Specify Floor Plan. Here's where you change the core utilization or specify certain floor plan defaults. You can use Automatic Floor Plan to create an initial floor plan. We'll go over how to resize the floor plan and use relative floor planning in this module, how to create rows, floor planning toolbox, and other floor planning functions. This is the Specify Floor Plan form and the Basic tab. The Basic tab lets you specify what size the core should be by either specifying the ratio of the height to width, the aspect ratio, and the utilization, and then the tool has enough information to derive the core size. The cell utilization we'll get to later. You can also specify dimensions of width and height of the core area or the die area's width and height. The core margins lets you allow space between the core area and the IO where you may want to create power rings for the core. You can derive core and module sizes based on either the standard cell utilization or both the standard cell utilization as well as the macro utilization. In order to learn more about how utilization is calculated, go to the solution on support.cadence.com. In this example, you see how cell utilization versus core utilization is calculated. If you look at the cell utilization that only looks at standard cells, the utilization is 1%. If you look at the core utilization, which averages both the macro utilization as well as the standard cell utilization, that utilization number is 50%. You can specify the kind of rows that you want to see by specifying double back rows, which means that they are flipped and abutted. You can specify spacing between the rows. And the site definition that you see here is populated from the left file. 